My name is Tim Ewing. I'm a curator at the Natural History Museum with responsibility for fossil sea urchins and starfish. I'm here on a fossil expedition uh, to a quarry at a secret location in Quartzwalds and uh, the team behind me uh, are there uh, looking for fossils. And what we're finding at this site are some of the most beautifully preserved uh, fossil sea urchins and starfish and other creatures called sea lilies and uh, feather stars that really I've ever seen are from Britain and they're probably comparable to some of the best fossil uh, sea urchin and starfish sites in the world. I'm Sally Hollingworth and my husband and I, Nev, found uh, the crinoids by pure chance really. Uh, we came to the quarry and we were finding tiny, tiny urchin pieces, nothing really, you know, amazing. And we thought we'll take a slab home to see if there was anything on it. He was out in the garage and revealed some of the crinoids that were on there and came running out and said, oh, you've got to come and see this, you've got to come and see this. Because, you know, when we took it home, it just looked like a lump of clay. <laughs> it looked really boring. <laughs> But um, yeah, revealing it and finding crinoids on there, it was just amazing. I'm Mark Graham and I work in the Conservation Centre at the Natural History Museum. My job involves preparing fossils for scientific study and for public display in the galleries. But it's wonderful to be able to actually get out with some colleagues and do some field work. And it's super important this time because we've come to a quarry which is so spectacularly rich in really good condition fossils. <laughs> So what we're doing, we're trying to go about it systematically. We're removing the top layers of the limestone, getting down to the layers that contain the clay, and then when we're turning those blocks over, on the underside of the limestone, we're finding these beautifully articulated echinoderms and starfish and such like. At the densities and the numbers of which I've never really seen before, they're, they're just coming out of the ground everywhere. Oh, it's totally amazing to be the first people to, to see some of these. There's a treasure hunter in all of us, isn't there? 